When you hear that devil start talking to you, asking who do you think you are, tell him. I'm just a nobody, trying to tell everybody all about somebody who saved my soul. Yes, sir. Trying to tell everybody just about one somebody who saved my soul. Thank y'all for tuning in once again. It's Odin Homestead down here in the growing zone 7A, Tennessee. Today is going to be a global garden challenge way in. Yeah, we got some more of them Bel pink Belgian uh, giant tomatoes. One is about fully red and one is blushing, so we're going to go on and take it because these things are getting huge, man. They're getting huge. They're causing a lot of strain. A lot of strain, and they're causing the tops to split where we got them tied, and then they get they growing so big and so heavy, it's causing the tops to split. So, yeah, I'll show y'all. but Let's get to it. Some tomatoes and pink Belgian giants. Let's go ahead and clip that one. Uh, maybe I can get it without clipping. If I can clip it, it's going to fall. And this is what I mean about splitting at the top. But they're still delicious. And then we get this monster right here. This thing's a monster. Might have to have this. Oh, I got him. Monster. Got one more begging. But we got a whole lot of little ones coming on, too. I can get in this net and show y'all. Got to net these. You like the birds like these the most. We got a whole lot of. Little just started to show. Starting to see some sign of fire bite. Hey, we're gonna rock it till the wheels fall off. As long as they produce tomatoes and it ain't freezing, we're gonna keep collecting them groceries. Till we can't no more. Yeah, they starting setting more tomatoes. Yeah, we're gonna rock it till the wheels fall off. Yeah, my tomatoes are still doing pretty awesome as well. Marigolds are still jumping. Some tomatoes are still looking good. Peppers is still putting on a show. Bell peppers still putting on the show. Still blooming. Yeah, so bell peppers are doing pretty good this year. Bell peppers are doing pretty good. Nice potato harvest we had a couple weeks ago. I did not film it. I just took a picture of the harvest. So, <clears throat> posted on my community wall. And we're getting a lot of green beans. That's good. A lot of green beans. Raging fire right there, burning off some uh, old wood branches. It's gonna make some good uh, bio char for my bananas. Green beans, you want to wait till they fill out good before you pick them flat that's them flat ones i'll leave for a couple of days and they be filled on out yeah, but we're picking a lot and they all inside and outside this trellis everywhere green beans are doing good this year
Should have brought my snips out. I would cheap dollar store snips. Got to buy three, four pair of three or four pair of season. Guess they get dull on you, but they perfect size for getting into them tight spaces. Looks like we're gonna have a large harvest today. Green beans. Better than that. It's gonna be hard to get to. It's hanging everywhere. Get my snips. I got my pruners. Well, I'll get these picked and we'll I'll come back and show y'all how many we got. Then we'll weigh in them garden challenge tomatoes. Well, that's the green beans that we just harvest. And there's the two tomatoes that we're about to weigh in. Okay, we got the scale on. First, let's weigh this massive one. Look how much he weighs. 15 grams. I mean, ounces. I always say grams. 15 ounces. It's another 8 ounces. So it's a pound point seven, one point seven. That brings our poundage up to uh eight point nine, eight point nine pounds so far for Homestead Aquarius. Thank y'all for tuning in once again. It's Open Homestead. Across my passion. Y'all stay blessed.